starting out of the blue corner way in 262 pounds. He's fighting out of Martinez, BJJ. His pro debut here at Harris, Philadelphia in the steel cage, XFE. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Chris Glocus. Fighting out of the red corner, weighing 260 pounds. Fighting out of Team Rock. Also a debut here at Harris, Philadelphia. From Randleman, North Carolina, Bobby Lescaut Duval. Well, Duval had an amazing amateur record. He really breezed through some people. You know, I don't know if he's taken on someone like Dawkins. I think the quality of competition is a little bit steeper up in this region. But I'm telling you, looking at Duval, I mean, this guy, you know, he certainly looks uh, to be prepared and ready to go. So two, two big heavyweights ready to go. They touch gloves. Dawkins in the black uh, tights, Under Armour tights, and the blue gloves. Duval sporting the cage side shorts and the red gloves as we get round one underway. Dawkins is light. Look how light on his feet he is for such a big guy. He's just kind of just chilling out, light on his feet, floating around, comfortable, relaxed. Good. Duvall a little more tense, a little, looks like he's got a little bit of nerves to work through. Nice inside leg kick. And Duvall tried a nice big powerful leg kick there. And then speaking of powerful leg kicks, Dawkins just turned one over. You can see a lot of the training in uh, in Dawkins here, you know, from his coaches, Steve McKay, Will Martinez. They all sort of fight in the same way on the feet. Just very comfortable, very relaxed, very fluid. Yeah, look at Dawkins' breathing and the way he does look to be very relaxed as he tries a big oh. head kick and he missed. This could be trouble. You do not want to be underneath He's the guy like right have to get out of there, Jackson. I hope this doesn't cost him the fight. Uh, looks like he got, did a good job of getting up. I like the idea of trying a head kick. I really do, but, you know, what that footing's not there, that can be trouble. Nice job of getting the underhook there. Yeah, there's a lot of things you wouldn't consider, like actually the decals in the cage. Nice you notice that the sponsor decals in the cage, they make it slippery sometimes. So uh, see, there's some footing is better than others in the cage. They can. Now Duvall's already breathing a little bit heavy, Jackson. You know, he's already breathing a little bit heavy. He's crossed his feet there. Now against the cage, and I'm starting to see a little bit of a tide turn for Christopher Dawkins. Dawkins just weathering, weathering that quick storm. Duval just looks, he's just got a little bit of nerves. And uh, that, that can just, just grind on your cardio. And that, just as we say that, that was a nice right hand. Oh, that's a bad shot to the groin there by Duval. You know, I don't think Dawkins meant to do that, but that did hit flush. I heard that he's recovered. If anything else, maybe Bobby Duval can use a little of that time to fill up the gas tank. But we're talking about five-minute rounds here, Jackson. So if you don't have the tank, it's going to be a, it's going to show quick. You, you'll be exposed one way or the other if, if you're not ready to go five-minute rounds. Uh, it's a long time to fight. And that's it. That's going to be the fight. That's going to be the fight. The fight's over. The fight's over. Chris Dawkins KO win right there. Big punch. Can't say I didn't see that happening, but that was a right hand, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully they can bring us through a replay. Dawkins, this guy. Maybe that was an elbow. Da I'm not Dawkins sure. right over the top with that rear elbow. I mean, so fast and so precise. If you blink, you're not going to Here's what I love about this guy as we go to the replay, Jackson. Just right here, right over the top. Oh, okay. Head kick. He slipped. Was in trouble right there. There's the groin shot, which we're going to get to the replay next, I believe, which should be the KO. And After we didn't that quite elbow see and it. Then. There was a punch down. So that was an elbow. I stand corrected. Anyway, folks, what we love about this guy, Dawkins, is he's a 265-pound behemoth. And he's, he's, he's got nice, light feet. You know, he moves fast. And he, that's going to help him go a long way in the heavyweight division. Folks, keep your eyes on this young man. He is an up-and-comer. He's a big-time pro, 24 years old. Christopher Dawkins moves to, continues his undefeated streak at the Martinez BJJ. I like this kid, and I think you're going to see, uh, keep him moving on. Well, Brian, I, I remember you always talking about fighting heavyweights and sort of the, the guys that you like to fight are the big ones, the guys that are a little bit slower. You know, I'll be perfectly honest with you, Jackson, and like to bring up myself in this, but I, I look for the biggest, most muscular guy in the gym for MMA. I really do, because they're the ones that fatigue the fats. It's just right. a fact. Um, a guy like Dawkins, you know, his build, you know, he's not as ripped and defined, but I'm telling you, man, he's conditioned for this sport. The guy's in shape, I guarantee you, he could go the right the distance, you know? So, uh, the, the, uh, unfortunately, that type of uh, breakdown doesn't, doesn't do well 
you know, the bodybuilder doesn't do well in MMA. It's just, it's just the way it is, you know. I got to give it to Duval, though. He came out ready to fight, landed some strong punches. I mean, that's a testament to Dawkins' chin. There was one straight right down right down the pipe through Dawkins' guard, and he unfazed. So. I, re I really like the way that Dawkins recovered after trying the head kick and missing it. You know, he, he, was on, he could have his back taken. Um, you know, I think Duval's really done a good job and probably made a lot of progress and strides on his strength. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, referee Jimmy Chappell stops the fight. Two minutes and three seconds in round number one by way of TKO. Your winner goes Chris Dawkins. Now we're going to go to Bob Maloney, who's going to interview the winner tonight, Chris Dawkins, as both fighters say congratulations to each other. And you can see Chris Dawkins' brother in there. I think they're, Chris Dawkins' brother's also an up-and-comer, and, -comer and they, uh, I think they're real close. His brother trains with him as well, so. Uh, as they, the uh, guys do a picture. Chris, always fun to watch. Yeah, just, great just, job. Just and a pleasure to watch. Now it, to it, Bob Maloney for the interview. All right, I'm here with your winner, Chris Dawkins. Chris! Your pro debut after going undefeated as an amateur, you come in, that had to be the Rocco's collision of the night. Tell us about that strike and how you feel. Uh, I feel great. I mean, he called me with a, a straight right, which kind of, you know, hurt me a little bit, put me on wobbly, but I'm all right. Messed up with that high kick, and then I seen he was dropping his hands when he steps in. So he stepped in, oh, through the overhand el elbow, caught him, why not finish the fight? Well, for a big guy, you got some fast hands, excellent performance, congratulations on your victory tonight. Thank you, sir, appreciate it. That's Chris Dawkins.